Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna share the tips I learned along the way during my learning how to corn row journey. And this was also supposed to be about how to do a corn row, but I, you know, you couldn't see what I was doing in some parts and I did not like it. So I scrapped that and I will have to do that for you at a later date. So my first tip when it comes to doing a cornrow, you don't want to create a part like that when you're starting off your braid. I used to do this all the time when I was creating cornrows, like I used to practice on my friends. And this was back in the day when the, I didn't even know about YouTube and um, I just was just practicing how to braid and I would always create this line and I didn't know how to get it to blend in. I just didn't know how to do it. So I finally learned how to do this probably about a few years ago is what you want to do is you just want to grab a little bit of the hair. See how I grabbed it there. You don't want it to be a line. You just want it to kind of blend in and then you just want to braid it, you know, a few times, I would say about three times and then start adding it with your hair and then watch how amazing it looks. You don't see any line. It looks all nice and blended. And friends, I wanted to mention, if you didn't already know that this is Zoraya, my niece, and I told her I would shout out her Musical.ly since she's always helping me with videos. And her Musical.ly is at za underscore music 537 underscore. So if you have Musical.ly, hit the fan button and follow her there. So friends, my next tip that I'm gonna share with you is something, again, I used to do all the time and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So one thing that you wanna do, and let me just say, I didn't even uh, practice what I preached in my last tip on this hairstyle, but anyways, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna grab big chunks of hair when you're grabbing hair, just because this is what's gonna happen. If you grab so much hair, you're gonna end up with no hair at the end, so you can't grab any hair and it's just gonna leave that space there. I used to cornrow my son's hair when he was a smaller and he had so much hair and all of his cornrows look like this. It was horrible. <laughs> So anyways, what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you are grabbing nice small pieces just to connect them together. You don't wanna grab like big chunks like I said. You know, when you first start out, you might it might be too tough for you to like just figure out how much hair to grab. But if you just keep practicing and practicing, trust me, you will eventually figure it out. It took me a long time to figure out that I needed to take smaller pieces so that wouldn't happen at the end. I don't even know. I, I don't understand how I didn't figure that out sooner. But anyways, if you take smaller pieces of hair when you are cornrowing it, you will get to have that nice cornrow all the way to the end. So here's another tip that you might want to use. You see how there's some far apart lines? Well, you can fix that by just grabbing your fine tooth comb and it will help clean up some of those for you. So friends, now for my last tip, you wanna make sure that you have a nice firm grip on the hair when you're braiding. And you also wanna make sure that your hands are closer to her scalp um, and not far away. Like if you can notice, I'm I don't really have a firm grip on her hair. And you know what? If you like the nice thick braid, then this is what you're gonna wanna do. So here you will see my hands, they're closer to the scalp as well as they are closer together. They're like my fingers are closer together and not as far apart. And that will help with a nice, um, tighter, cleaner braid. So my friends, I hope this video helped you out if you are just learning to cornrow. I know that these were like three of the things that I used to do all the time that I just couldn't figure out until I started practicing and so I started watching videos on YouTube. Thank goodness for YouTube. But anyways, um, I'm sorry I didn't have a cornrow video out for you today. I will get that out soon. I'm not sure when, but my friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you, friends. Bye.